Hallo, hier ist der Mats aus Düsseldorf und hier sind Trucker Joe's Vlogs. Good morning there, friend. Diesel says good morning. At least I think that's what that face means. It's gonna be a good day, Diesel, right? You wanna know why it's gonna be a good day? Because today we're getting out of this truck and we're moving back into Old Blue. The decals are all on the truck and we're ready to take it out on our next trip. But before we do that, I'm excited to go home and spend some time at home. <laughs> First breath of fresh air when you get out of the truck. And we better make sure our entire load is still good to go. All of it, the whole thing. It's still there. Good morning, nice Peterbilt. You were here the other day when I woke up too. You're still here. You never use the bottom two. I think I'm just gonna cut them off. Come on, my boy. Let's go do our business. We slept here at Balgoni, Flying J. In Balgoni, Saskatchewan. Had a good night, we are able to find parking late at night when we got here, so we're getting a later start this morning, but drove pretty late yesterday. Had a shower, gave myself a haircut, trimmed my beard, it's been a good time. On the prairies of Canada, you see that quite often. Trucks hauling two 53-foot trailers. We call them pikes. I'm not sure why, maybe because they're going down the pike, I don't know. Somebody, somebody tell me, why, why do we call them pikes? I just know that that's what we call them. We don't do any of that. You have to have special licensing to do that and training, obviously. And uh, it's not something we do. Maybe we will in the future, but for now, uh, it uh, takes a little bit of extra logistics to do that. You need to have uh, yards and drop yards where you can get in with two trailers like that and easily uh, uh, drop and hook and you know, hook up and... In order to pull two 53-foot trailers, you have to have special training, obviously. You also have to have special licensing, I believe, through the company. And that's not something that uh, uh, we do specifically. It takes a little bit more logistics and a little bit to set that up. You have to have drop yards where you can get these trucks in, where you can switch trailers around and hook up and uncouple and recouple and stuff. Uh, it, you see it quite commonly on the prairies between Winnipeg, Calgary, Edmonton, through Saskatchewan. In Saskatchewan, sometimes you'll actually see them pulling three trailers. Not three 53-foot trailers, but uh, like two 53s plus another like 40-some foot or 32-foot or whatever. I've seen it before. They're pulling three trailers around here. Sort of like our version of highway trains. They're not quite as long as the Australian ones, but we're trying, doing our best. You'll also see them between... Uh, Toronto and Montreal on the 401 out in eastern Canada. Uh, I've also seen them there as well, but they're not as common there. Here you see them all the time. And before I forget to tell you again, I want to remind you that on June 17th, I believe it's a Saturday, I'm going to be at the yard at Keystone Western in Grand Point. We're doing an open house. You can come and meet the team, see what we're all about at Keystone, and maybe you want to make a career change and come start working for us. Maybe you're an owner-operator, like me. Maybe you've been running an owner-operator for a while and you want to make a change. It doesn't hurt just to come check us out. It doesn't mean you have to make a change right that day. But you can come check it out, meet us, meet me. Uh, I'll have Old Blue there. And uh, it'd be great to meet you. I hear there's gonna be food there and stuff too. This June 17th, this year, 2022. Uh, you can go to my Facebook page or any of my uh, social media pages to find that. I'll try to put it up on the screen here as well. It'd be great to see you there if you're in the area. Everybody's always looking for drivers, right? And of course we'd like to attract some owner operators and I figure what better way to show people that you can run your truck here and be successful 
what better way to show you than to do it myself? So I went out and bought my own truck. We're running Old Blue on my next trip. I'm really excited about it, so it's working out well for me here. Doesn't hurt to check it out at least, right? But of course, they're not just looking for owner operators, they're also looking for, uh, they're also looking for company drivers. You know, we have uh, van division, open deck division, that's what I do. Uh, all kinds of different routes that can accommodate whatever your schedule is, we're willing to work with you. We're in the left lane gang today. If you've been watching me for a while, you know that when I'm on the final stretch to home, nothing can stop me. Except for maybe construction zones. That can slow me down. That can slow me down. I'm not one of those center lane Larrys, as Tony Justice calls them, flying through the construction zones. No. But there is a maximum speed limit and I will utilize it to my best ability when I am on my way home. Especially when I got old Blue waiting for me. She's just sitting there. I can hear her already. I'm almost at the Manitoba border. I can already hear her, it, him. I still don't know. It. I think we'll refer to it as it. It's a, it's a tool. It's a working tool. But I don't want to unperson him or her. I don't know yet. I don't know my truck well enough yet. All I know, I can recognize its voice. It's calling me already. That's not that's not the voice at all. It's more like, "Yo, Trucker George, where you at?" I don't know. If <laughs> I might just leave that in there. Maybe I'll cut it out. I don't know. So the cones have disappeared, but I haven't yet seen the sign that says "End of Construction Zone." In Saskatchewan here, in construction zones, all fines are tripled. Usually they have a sign, like just so you know for sure, you know, like end of construction zone. You can you can give her again. That's what they should do. Just put a giver sign at the end of construction zones. Thanks for slowing down, eh? Give her. That's what I think they should do. Questioning minds need to know, can I go the speed limit again? I've got places to be. You gotta be clear, I don't wanna I don't wanna get a ticket. That's the last thing I need right now. I haven't even gotten into Old Blue yet, and I gotta go explain to driver services. By the way, thanks for borrowing me the truck, eh? I got a speeding ticket in a construction zone. That looks good on the record. Don't wanna do that. Better safe than sorry. People in front of me haven't sped up either, because no one knows this is a construction zone over. Because sometimes they just take the cones away, but they're still working. So it doesn't look like a construction zone, but it's a construction zone. That usually happens in Saskatchewan. I don't know what it is about you guys here, our friendly neighbors. <laughs> and they, they're still putting rocks on the highway to fix their highways. And stones, remember I got my window blown out by one of those ones? They still do it. Oh yeah. Still fixing roads like it's 1915. Okay, it's settled. The construction zone is over. Everyone agrees. Time to give her. I want to go home. I need to clean this windshield. 
really should have. I was in such a rush to get going this morning. I was in the pumps too. Uh, slipped my mind. Got other things on my mind. Blue things. Beautiful day here in Winnipeg. Just rolling into Headingley on the west side. Clear skies. Wonderful. Gonna get this load to the yard and uh, move all my stuff from here into Old Blue, and then head back to the shop. I'm a little anxious to see how the, the decals turned out. Diesel knows where we are. The last corner, man. Almost there. Whoa, 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 buddy. Sure down, man. Oh, I'm holding, I got it, I'm good, I'm good. There we are. I'll send in our paperwork and go find Old Blue. All right, this is the last of my stuff. Pretty sure I'll do another sweep yet, just to make sure. Got everything out in Old Blue already, including the weasel. You wanna see it? I think it turned out pretty good. She is getting ready to go home. She got all dusty. One sec, let me close this door. There she is. Turned out they're decals. At least now I can haul freight. So how's everything fitting in here, you ask? <laughs> Yeah, why don't we ask Diesel? Diesel! It's kind of full. Man, we're going to have to downsize a bit here. I can't get any smaller. I can't pack any lighter, man. I, it's all you. This is actually Diesel's first time in the truck. Not as much space as the Volvo, but that's okay. Because it's got this. Yeah, I know that truck got a lot better fuel economy than this one ever will but I'm willing to pay what I call the hood tax it's a little bit of extra fuel but you gotta have a nice hood out in front of you we're gonna have to readjust what we take along and, uh, and what we don't <laughs> but diesel is officially on his throne diesel Lord diesel can you sit it can ye sit it can ye Diesel, can you sit? I don't know what kind of fancy language you're speaking, man. Oh my lord. There you go. On his throne. That is not gonna stay in here. That is, it's too small in here for that. That is gonna be strapped onto the deck. Oh, not on the deck, on the, the catwalk somewhere or something. I'm gonna figure out something for his steps. We'll see, he might not even need them in this truck because the steps are uh, very big. He might just be able to jump in. We'll see. I don't want him to put that stress on his legs when he's jumping out, though. Jumping in is different, but jumping out is harder on him. Got her back in the shop. Got the numbers up on the front. Got all the stickers on the side. Love it. So both sides are a little different, and I'm not sure how I feel about it yet. Look at this side here, the way this is, okay? Look at this number here. Oops, nice and level with the Kenworth, right? Nice and level. Beautiful, beautiful, right, Diesel? Now, I'll start with the number on this side. <clears throat> it's not level with the Kenworth. <laughs> That's okay, it's hard to notice though, right? I noticed. That's okay, it's okay, the number's there, doing its job. And then on the door here, this door is a little different because of this window. Town name is down there instead. What do you guys think? Is that alright if it's different on both sides? I mean, I, I don't mind it actually. I thought it would look a little more funny. But, uh, eh, it's down there. Go back around to this side. And it's up there. See, the reason they didn't put it down here was because the block heater is there and they couldn't center it in there then. So I had to go open the door. I think that's okay. 
I think it's okay. I'm happy with it. At least I can start working with it now, right? Oh, that's awesome. All right, well, I gotta rush home. My wife is off work already, and uh, I figured I'd be home a little earlier than I am, so I kind of, I kind of think, I think she thought I'd already be there. So we, we better get going. We'll be back with Old Blue soon. We won't be going on a trip tomorrow, but uh, the next day we're available. I don't know if they'll have anything for us then, because it's a Thursday. So we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens when we get a load. But she's all ready to go.